untreated heartburn or acid reflux can lead to cancer, which is pretty crazy. If you want a way to force your body to permanently stop acid reflux and heartburn in 48 hours, click the link in the description below. For now, let's get to today's question. The question, why did I get heartburn after anesthesia? Gosh, there are just so many possible reasons, and only a tiny few relate to the anesthetic, unless you had anesthetic with no surgery, which is uncommon. However, if you had an anesthetic without any surgical procedure affecting your abdomen or thorax, and without any post-operative pain requiring analgesics, then read on. Number 1. During the actual anesthetic, there is loss of competence of the sphincter controlling the flow of material between the stomach and the esophagus. If your stomach was not empty, and if you had acid in it, then that acid would have been free to flow up and irritate the upper esophagus and the throat. If there's an awful lot of it, it can spill over and go down into your lungs. That's why we are asked to refrain from eating or drinking, other than plain water, for 8 plus hours prior to surgery, and why you may be given something to stop acid secretion an hour or two beforehand. So if you woke up with heartburn, that's probably the reason. Number 2. If heartburn developed only a few hours later and lasted a day or so, it may be that you were a little more sensitive to the effect of one of the drugs given to you during your anesthetic. Lots of drugs can either change the tone in the lower esophageal sphincter, or disrupt the normal synchronicity which propels food and drink down the esophagus and into the stomach, or increase the secretion of acid. In your case it may have been a painkiller, e.g. a morphine-like drug or an aspirin-like drug, or it may have been a steroid given as an antiemetic. Even some antihypertensives can cause heartburn, undocumented, but often reported by patients. In any event, do tell your anesthetist slash anesthesiologist next time round. So, SC can try to get to the bottom of it and avoid it next time and I'm afraid there usually is a next time.